and we are live at the Ant Hill, ready for USC Sumter Call of Duty as USC Sumter takes on Shenandoah for the CCL a week two match um, in group play and we are gonna see where we're headed for the next round um, here uh, so far USC Sumter is two and one I believe um, in CCL play uh, so hoping to get another win tonight against Shenandoah Shenandoah is a solid team so it's gonna be interesting to see what uh, you know USC Sumter and Shenandoah bring to the table this is coach Chris here with the stream and with you on solo here because uh, my other casters uh, weren't able to make it any of the students and such so I'm gonna rock this out by myself um, and try to get this done so hopefully I can show a good stream for those of you watching and uh, we can you know make this happen for everybody so so uh shenandoah again solid team in the ccl bracket uh and we are too i like to think and um you know gonna see how the uh match goes tonight i always like our players to have a solid outing no matter who we're facing so that is the number one goal there is to do well each time we play um, and I'm trying to look up the uh, division bracket here just to get us an idea. So um, USC Sumter uh, lost to Cumberland in round one on uh, week one. Uh, lost three to three to one there. Then USC Sumter um, in their second match of week one won three one over Barton College. Um, then this week, uh, USC Sumter uh, won 3-1 over the UNA Lions. And USC Sumter is now playing Shenandoah uh, tonight for this. So, um, let me just make sure I go ahead and have my... Uh, all my stuff together as far as team sides and such <clears throat> which I believe we will So just checking the sides here from Coach Clark who's down in the room to verify who has what side. And it looks like the sides are already set which would have me swap these teams as Cortac is always on the right side here um, so just verifying with that um, for sure that's definitely what it looks like um, and we'll be in the Codcaster role not sure if somebody just got bumped out of the lobby or what but we will find out there but back to uh, the rounds and where they go um, Shenandoah lost to Cumberland who we also lost to they lost three to two we lost three to one um, and Shenandoah beat UNA Lions 3-1 which I believe was the same score for us and 
they also uh, be ODU Monarchs three to three zero. So should be a pretty solid match tonight between the teams. So that's what I'm hoping for. And uh, that's what we like to see either way. A nice competitive match heading into uh, this week of play and, you know, making things happen. So the first map is going to be Hotel. Um, Shenandoah is the host for this. So um, USC host, will host map two, which is a silo. Um, then map three is also a silo. Shenandoah will host that. Map four is Hydro if needed. USC will host that. And map five is Embassy. USC will host that. Um, map one hotel is going to be a um, hard point match. And USC will be... Uh, starting out on spec and we will be spectating them throughout the go and uh hard point um is basically the first team to 250 so that's going to be our goal here and that's what uh we want to see our team get to first so we're going to start out running here with our AR players, uh, so we're running through with Reno here as he's going to try to get some time down or prevent some time down on this hill. Does get two there off the bat, so that's definitely how we like to see the start. We are now capping uh, with jumps holding box here, getting some time on the point. Mid whiffs his shots there against Stevo, and USC Sumter no longer has control there. Uh, Reno trying to get back control. Looking, does get one. Whoop gets the other, and you know a lot of a lot of time kind of almost evenly pressed out here for each other. So let's see. Let's see, Reno gets one off of. Reno gets one. Genesis comes back to point. He's getting stunned out. Uh, jumps on point here. Trying to hold off at the reception desk. Let's see what he can do to break. And unfortunately, maybe should have waited a moment. You'll see something regains the hill with 36 seconds left on. We're going to see Genesis push through. Try to get some kills. Does take down two. Um, and now we are already rotating to the next point. 25 seconds left on the clock. USC Sumter looks like they're going to take that. Reno is going to go ahead and play this back. This back part here. Basically where the other spawn was to try to prevent uh, them from getting spawns. Us from getting them and getting ready for the next point. We did cap off the rest of that time. So USC Sumter leading 62 to 29. Unfortunately, Reno has to kind of give himself away there. Tried to get a kill, but didn't work. Ends up grenading himself by accident. Um, jumps, does get a kill. Maybe this is going to start moving forward for the Fire Ants. They get two. Can they break this point? They look like they do, and USC Sumter breaks it well. One of the best ways we like to see... Uh, things happen there breaking and jumps as you can see there gets another kill. This is gonna help somebody's gonna need to watch backside stun comes in Whoops holding down that angle as you can see and Unfortunately just overwhelmed there uh, As Reno gets one at the back door the jumps or Jumps got the other jumps does get two on point though here, but uh USC Sumter doesn't have the spawns that you would like to see. Trades off some time there to get to the next. USC Sumter getting kind of grenaded off here. Um, and as they were trying to get the next point, Reno does get a kill there. Hopefully, USC can capitalize on this and keep the point. Kills Toxic. USC Sumter does have the time. There's more coming, though. Coming from the bed area. 
out in the lobby. Genesis finishes that off, but gets killed from behind as well as, as Shenandoah does a decent wrap there. Jumps. He's chasing one player here. Does have dead silence. Don't see him make the play yet. He knew a player was there. He probably should have played it slower, but unfortunately didn't at that time. But you'll see Sumter's probably going to pass this off and go for new, uh, which is what they definitely should do. Uh, we got some of the time there, but Shenandoah was able to pick up some time. So let's see how it plays out. We're going to stay with Genesis as he's probably going to engage first. He does gets one. Sees Toxic for the second, decides not to challenge that. Probably a good choice. Reno gets two there. Genesis knows someone's coming. Jumps in, gets the kill. And USC Sumter still holding strong here. Jumps following there. Coming back from spawn. Is holding. Backside. Reno knows there's more than one there. As he saw two cross, does get one kill. Jumps, gets the, gets another as they cross out. USC Sumter holding a solid advantage here, almost getting the whole point, which is what you want to see on this point. Shenandoah looking to rotate out. Jumps, doesn't quite get a chance to get the kill there. Steve-O's going to challenge here. Reno knows that he's coming, heard the call out, still got the time here. USC Sumter takes the whole hill. Um as Shenandoah gets set up for the next point. So let's see if we can get a solid break here. Jumps, gets a kill off of the catwalk. This is gonna be one we're gonna have to see somebody go backside and maybe the hop up, but not just the hop up. The hop up is a dangerous play as you see. Jumps gets there, but Genesis clears off the back and USC Sumter's back on the point and holding it strong. So. Let's see if we can maintain this advantage uh, the rest of the way. A 50, 55 point advantage. And Genesis gets one kill there. Has one coming up behind him. Trying to swap off to where maybe more of the action is. Reno's holding down this point. As you know, he's liking to soak up that time. Genesis was in a big battle there. Would have liked to see Reno with, a, with an AR there. Not sure if he picked one up, ran out of bullets, but... And... Genesis still putting putting in some work there on them. And Reno, as I swap, he had already got the kill, does get another, and back to point one here. And Reno likes to soak up time on this box, but he does get shot in the back from, uh, couldn't, couldn't see there exactly where it came from. Um, I think I did know, but unfortunate. Genesis gets two here though. Backing him off, Steve-O still spawning behind. Reno does get one off the box, so USC Sumter takes the time back. He just pre-aims, <clears throat> and Steve-O steps into that. USC Sumter taking the advantage back on the hill. This is still a big time advantage here that USC Sumter is facing. And Reno gets another before their hill is cleared off, but it's plenty of time for USC Sumter to rotate. Uh, Shenandoah has to pick up time where they can get it at this point, so you're going to see them try to soak up that time while USC Sumter can get an advantage. Genesis, I hope, saw him. He did, and goes back and chases him for the kill. Going to be another one on his right. Not sure if he sees him. He does not. He's going to get flanked. He does get killed, but Reno's again here just swimming in time and going to have a fight at reception desk. Does get the kill. As USC Sumter's holding off the other angles as as Shenandoah tries to advance, but not able to. Reno gets another. Reno's having a good game. Not sure exactly his stats at the moment. Genesis is always playing well. Are already playing well. Reno 25 and 10. Putting in some work is the AR. Genesis is right there behind him. Ooh, gonna pick up some time here garbage time he's gonna be the one to hold that down as everybody else starts to rotate to the next hill may see a challenge here Shenandoah sides gonna challenge on that side and that's fine that that many people were over there because that gave USC Sumter the ability to set up for a new point and Reno is gonna call in his kill streak here and get one and USC Sumter just has to clear this hill and there's one person left from Shenandoah on the hill and he clears 
everybody. Toxic had a big play there uh, to keep USC Sumter from capping. That would have been huge. Possibly the golden uh, ticket to the win if USC Sumter were able to hold that. So now they have to wait for each other and break at the same time. Uh, Reno gets one off point. He's playing this. Going to need to wait for his teammates to show up. And they do. USC Sumter trying to get something done here. Looks like they do clear everybody. They got the time. They can win off of this if they hold. They can't get contested at all, and they did get contested. I don't think there's enough time. They're going to have to cap the next point. Already on it. USC Sumter ready to go, and caps that, takes the win. Round one, USC Sumter. Map one, going to win that 250 to 65. Like to see that win there on hard point. UC Sumter was really on point there. Uh, looking at the, the final kill cam there. That was that moment when Toxic really held that down. That was a great play um, by him to try to prevent USC Sumter. But looking at the kills here, um, we've got Reno 28 and 14, Genesis 32 and 16. Very good job there um, by those two. And before the lobby breaks, just want to look at the stats a little bit more. Nice time across the board there. Um, you know, not too far off with kill deaths between the other two players as far as um, what we had. So very good round by USC Sumter. Uh, did, did well to work together to break points at the same time, as well as making sure that um, they rotated early enough when they had the advantage so that they could get set up for the next point to come online. Um, so very good job there from USC Sumter to hold the points as long as they can till they know that they need to rotate um, or picking up that trash time if the other team had already rotated out, keeping every single point that they could possibly get. So um, can't ask for better. It's definitely what we want. So USC Sumter taking round one. Uh, we like our hard points, uh, or we like our search and destroy, which is what we're going into next. Um, hard point, getting that first win on the map, on map one was good. Not even on our host either. So I'm just waiting on the next, uh, the next code so we can get on to the next map. So the next map is going to be a silo. It's going to be search and destroy. USC Sumter hosts this one. Uh, so we will see that host, hopefully get some of that host advantage in this time um, and be ready to uh, go from there. So. <clears throat> And it looks like they have Cortec again. So let me just make sure. Yep, Shenandoah is on Cortec. Um, so I believe everybody's all set. So I'm gonna go to Codcaster. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how it's gonna play out. So um, it looks like everyone is here. And whenever they're ready, we're going to be going in. And it sounds like we are rolling in right now. So USC Sumter headed into a silo with a 1-0 map lead advantage in this series. Search and Destroy is up next. USC Sumter is going to be on the attacking side here as spec. And we are going to ride with our... SMGs because typically they're the guys that are going to pick up the bomb and go plant. So let's see which side they decide to go to here. Those of you that don't know, there are going to be two bomb sites they have to take the bomb to and plant. Um, either that or eliminate the opposing team uh, before you put the plant down um, and you win the round. So you see something running through here going for a straight B push. Looks like it might be. Well, I thought it was free, but I didn't see Toxic back there. Jumps. If he waited a second, he would have saw that play. 
They don't think he's there, though. So he's going to plant. He's got a guy right next to him. Doesn't even know. But they get the plant down. Just didn't know Steve-O was there. That was unfortunate. He didn't maybe check his corners, look around. But U.S. Sumter does have the bomb down. So Shenandoah has to play it. Reno and Genesis are up. They had the hot hands from the last game. And there's one above Genesis here. There he goes, gets two. Genesis, big play there. Takes three that round, but does not let Shenandoah stop him. Big win there from, from USC Sumter from the attacking round on <clears throat> a C though, map two. Sorry, uh, had to call off a second there. Um, so went offline, so you couldn't hear it, but I'm still kind of <laughs> choked up. But uh, let's see if our our SMG players are gonna go here and just check the bomb site on A. Typically, that's where a fast push is. Genesis is playing it kind of tight here. Um, it does look like Shenandoah wants to go A push, and you're seeing a lot of activity here. Reno. Checking the long sight here from outside. He probably sees that one. He should have seen him kind of go through. Whoop gets one. Jumps gets one. Whoop does get down traded. But he knows once. Whoop jumps possibly knows one's upstairs. Almost gets the kill. Uh, his double jump messed him up. But Reno finishes off and trades and... Only the bomb carrier and Genesis and Reno are up. And Reno holds his ground, waits for the player to come around, and gets the kill there after he got the, the kill on Genesis. Just is patient, hoping Steve comes back around. He does. He probably already had some damage from Genesis and gets the refrag there for USD Sumter to take side or take sorry a red side on the thing take round two to have a 2-0 advantage in this map too so USC Sumter back on uh, the bomb here going for attack uh, jumps has the bomb looks like it's gonna be an a push here this time uh, Genesis and jumps tend to make that run together uh, they both were stunned so they have an idea that USC Sumter is possibly there Genesis and jumps typically has a good, a good uh, engage there. Does get it. Jumps is gonna plant so that uh, Whoop can see from the high ground if needed there. And jumps and Genesis are gonna play this at a 4-2 advantage. Um, jumps was a little sloppy going in. Didn't really get the guy behind the bed, but Genesis was able to fill or behind the couch, but Genesis was able to knock that down. Reno sees one, probably gets information out to where they're playing. Genesis and Jump still on this point. Pretty much locking it down. Got 20 seconds for Shenandoah to stop it. Uh, not sure how Toxic died there. Maybe a car blew up on him? I'm not sure what exactly happened, but he did die on his own. Uh, maybe he cooked his grenade or something. I don't know. But... Uh, Unfortunate for Shenandoah there, already being down two to four. So USC Sumter getting the win f for round three on attack. So switching over to defense here. <clears throat> Let's see what USC Sumter does. Um, we're gonna try to follow Reno. He typically tries to go this outside whether it's on the steps or whether it's over here on this hill he sees one gets one first pick reno on the toxic steve is going to take a peek at him reno guesses that he's there and does hit him a little bit reno gets tagged a little they back off jumps goes around the corner and gets the kill on steve as he knows genesis was already inside didn't get to see his kill and as we change over to Whoop, he's getting a kill there, upstairs. 
on their defensive side. Going to see Whoop here one more time. Getting the kill as he comes through. And USC Sumter still looking good in all the stats department and ready to do this uh, as they're going into round five. You see Sumter on attack again. So we're going to ride with the subs here. Jumps gets the bomb. So we're going to possibly see another play of Genesis and Jumps going in. They stall out this time, trying not to get stunned. Looks like Shenandoah is going to put two on the point. You'll see Sumter opens the door. They get they get Genesis there. Um, not sure what the calls were, if Genesis knew there was more than one, but Jumps and, and Genesis both died on point. Reno, unfortunate, couldn't get the kill there and whoop is left by himself against three let's see what he could do you know anything's possible bomb is down on point though at a so he's gonna have to get kills as he kind of goes around the map um toxic is over there i don't know if he saw him before he fell down he may have yeah i believe he did as he's kind of searching for him um and if anything he could just play his life here uh, unfortunately, he didn't. Uh, probably would have been better to try to play his life. He wasn't too far from, from a um, cruise missile. But, unfortunately, not able to uh, pull off this kill here. Put, put him one closer. He did get some shots on him, but just not all the way. So, uh, USC Sumter losing round five uh, to Shenandoah while being on attack. Now switching over to defense. It's 4-1 USC Sumter advantage. Hopefully we can still maintain that. Um, and we're going to go with Whoop this time as we went with Reno last time as he saw the outside hit. We have not seen a B push yet from Shenandoah, but we are seeing that now. And Whoop is up here on the... Whoop is up here on the AC spot. Does get grenaded out, but takes one down before he goes. Probably warning his team that there's going to be a B push here. Going to see if Reno can get some high ground and try to Get this kill before the bomb carrier crosses. This is like they're playing, or Shenandoah playing a little cautious here, not knowing exactly what to see. Jumps just holding this backside. They're all going to play for the advantage there of keeping the spot and keeping them off B. Jumps probably hears somebody in there. The bomb is being planted. He didn't hear him go in. He does see him unfortunately and doesn't get the kill you would have liked to see him win that there it was kind of not a good spot to be, be in if he didn't challenge it early but still 2-2 here you'll see Sumter can take this pinch together Reno's looking on the outside he does know that there's one outside gets the kill can he challenge this next spot does not get the kill Shenandoah will win I believe that's round six. Yep, round six. So, you see Sumter getting their advantage chipped away here. Is that a 4 0 start? You would have really liked to see jumps there. Maybe listen for some of those sound cues. I'm not sure if he could hear that guy come in or not, or if it was maybe somebody that was outside, because I do think um, Genesis was in that area too. Um, but unfortunately, just didn't get that kill there. Um, at the bomb site that I think would have changed it. So USC Sumter back on attack. Although it was not jumps, you know, fault there. We still had the opportunity to get that win. But jumps does go out and gets killed by Toxic here on an all-out B push. And UC Sumter's still trying to make their way to B. Got a two three two three disadvantage. And USC Sumter not sure what pathways they're taking here, but they're just leaving their self out for to get killed. Um, and it's, you know, just the angles and, and such that, that they're taking. Reno's going to get stunned out here pretty bad. And, you know, Shenandoah, you would have hoped that they had gone inside, but uh, unfortunately wrapped. I think Reno was going to try to wrap around and go to A. But it just didn't happen there. So, 
Shenandoah within one point to tie this up. USC Sumter's kind of stalling here. Not sure exactly what's going on. They can definitely play these rounds better as we saw in the past that they did. Um, so they just need to clean it up. They're making some uh, strange uh, runs with some of their plays. There's no reason to run out in the open in some of these moments like they did. Reno's going to try to challenge this guy outside here. There's going to be two this time. And Toxic backs Reno off. He does the right thing and leaves that. He does not have that advantage anymore. And Reno's just going to try to be patient here and see if anybody peeks. We'll stay with him for the moment. And there's just two watching that long side. So let's get down on the point and see what you see something trying to do here. And Reno, I don't know if he peaked again or what, but doesn't get that's the kill he does actually get killed and genesis does get one so that evens it out at 2-2 two, two. and unfortunately shenandoah covering the high ground so whoop is on his own here as shenandoah rotates to the b spot so smart move by them go ahead and rotate it's going to force whoop to make a play and Shenandoah can just sit outside and kind of cover more open range. So uh, one's going to sit on point, one's going to sit by the vehicles. So and that stun wasn't deep enough to get this get toxic stunned. Let's see, if he's needed here. He does, and Whoop gets the kill. So Whoop can save up for his for his health here just a little bit, and then he's going to have to challenge. He's got 20 seconds. He's got the time. Unfortunately, he looked the wrong way, and USC Sumter loses that advantage that they had 4-0, and now Shenandoah is in striking distance at 4-0, themselves. Only need two more rounds here. Um, USC Sumter stalling out. Just not sure what's going on with them at the moment, but they really need to pick it up, or they're going to lose this uh, search and destroy round if they don't get it back together. So let's see what we have here. Uh, a B push is not working because we're just running through and just dying before we can even get there. So I'm expecting the A push. We do get the A push. Um, we're double stunning back there. Jumps. Jumps gets one here, or Genesis gets one. Jumps needs to not chow that door. They do have one on the point, so UC Sumter has the life advantage. Jumps, I don't know why he ran in the way he ran in. Genesis goes down, so a big play there from, from Relink, and UC Sumter just goofed that. Jumps seemed like he double clutched his run he just didn't need to run into the room like that just needed to kind of jump the corner um unfortunate not sure what happened to genesis but he did get pistoled down so he must not have done that well reno gets kind of just timing lucky there and looks around the corner they are going to push this point they do get the kill whoop gets killed as well reno finishes up USC Sumter pulls off a nail biter right there on <clears throat> round nine. So USC Sumter tr gonna try to pull this out with match point here and take a 2-0 lead in the series. They really need it. I'd like to, I'd like to hope that they do get this opportunity. It's um, gonna be the best thing for them for sure to go ahead and finish this uh, with a W here. Um, could be somewhat. Um, Momentum stifling, demoralizing if they don't, uh, because they finished, started off so strong. But if we can get a pick here early in the round, I, I like our chances to maybe make something happen. Is, is Reno's going to challenge this top. I don't think he's looking up there. Side's going to... He saw him, I think, and decided to step away because he didn't have the angle. Side does go to check the other side of Reno. And Reno comes back to check him. Looks like we're trying to hold this this bomb plant area. Um, and 
Shenandoah is going to take their time to try to get into A if they can. You can see Sumter gets one down on the hill. Two. Reno jumps off. Probably should have stayed patient and stayed up there. Genesis and Whoop are the last to survive here. Whoop needs to really get to this high ground and help out. Sees one. Gets a kill. USC Sumter takes the win. With Genesis getting the other kill on point. Way to get there, Whoop, and finish up that kill before they could jump down. Um, and just holding that advantage. Well, we didn't necessarily have the advantage other than the bomb was down on the site. Genesis does get that big kill, and Whoop clears that up before it can get any more dangerous. So USC Sumter takes map 2, 2-0 lead on the series. And, you know, pretty much well played there. Uh... I think jumps was starting off pretty strong, but uh, then kind of had not as great, but he is also the bomb carrier. So a lot of times he's going to be, you know, one of the first ones into uh, the danger zone, I guess. So he he's not always the one that's going to be carrying the team or anything. Um, but uh, we will see. Um, we will see USC Sumter now rotate to a silo for a control map. So the same map, but uh, Shenandoah will host and USC Sumter will uh, now be playing control. And, uh, you know, the players picked it up there at the end, but they were started off strong. Uh, I think Jumps just had a couple plays where, you know, he mis misplayed or something like that. Run, is run and jump. Um, you know, Genesis got caught off a, off a little bit and, you know, Reno and Whoop both, you know, kind of got hit from long range a couple times. It's one of those things where you kind of trade out where, right in the beginning. So, you know, a couple things didn't go quite right for those four rounds that they reversed on us. But then USC Sumter cleaned it up with the two rounds at the end that mattered the most. And we take wins no matter what. So that's the way to be. Um, I do believe I got a have an invite yep oh well that was a request actually so um uh, thought i just saw an invite come through not sure where that's at but uh should be able to join up on these guys uh, okay that's locked they may be taking a quick break i'm not 100 percent sure um, and jumping in now uh, with the team so again just looking here at the stats not what you'd like to see with jumps I'm sure he's not you know overly excited about that either um, but uh, did get the win and did get a couple bomb plants um, so Okay, so we got bumped out there. Just trying to figure out how to get into this lobby. Um, so, I did get a code. I think this is the one. So, I'm going to try to put that in and try to get in this match for this round map three. Okay, that lobby's broken. So, now I'm joining back. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I don't, excuse me, hopefully I don't have to restart, um, but trying to find a team to join, and now there we go, so now we're in the lobby, um, just need to figure out what side everybody's going to be on, and, <clears throat> and it looks like USC Sumter gets Cortac here, so... So we just have to see where we're at here. Moving forward, swapping sides. You see something's gonna be Cortec. And we are going to get ready to go.
and USC Sumter, same map that you saw, and we are going to head into the first map with USC Sumter taking a defensive side, and this side is all about that tower control, so we like to see Reno up there, and he likes to go there, so hopefully we can take that tower. We're going to check this outside, and as for those, for those of you that don't know, the high ground here on the right side with the tower is super important and USC Sumter getting wiped out there um, three down is not very helpful whoop does get one off high ground which is going to be big but Reno's going to have one right on him when he turns this corner and Shenandoah already almost capping A but USC Sumter able to break them and Shenandoah has two big ticks on there, likely rotating B here as USC Sumter was all at A. But Reno does get the chance to get locked in over here. And here comes Shenandoah on the B side. They get one tick. Unfortunate Genesis either didn't hear that guy shooting from there or maybe he didn't shoot. That was just my thoughts, but I thought I heard that kill. Whoop does get one there. And they cap B. Shenandoah is making this look easy at the moment. USC Sumter needs to pick it up. <clears throat> but USC Sumter does have a 2-0 map lead. Don't like to see them lose any rounds, but they do have some cushion here. We don't want to see a reverse sweep, that's for sure. Reno saw Steve up. Gets the kill. Does have one more. He needs to just hang down don't peek it he does decide to peek it should have stayed down there on the point until he gained his life back wasn't really any need to go for it there this is important for Wu to kill that but Shenandoah captures all zones and made it look easy on control um, in the first round on attack you see something's definitely going to need to clean that up and unfortunately there Whoop could only do so much, got double teamed, and had to stop the time, and does so. I expect USC Sumter to clean up their next defensive time, but this offense is going to be huge. They're really going to need to get uh, the same time that Shenandoah got to stay ahead and keep an advantage. blood followed by Genesis they need to stack this time you have to make sure that they stack things together it's gonna be some toxic's gonna be coming up from off the top you can't you can't wall bang him there he does go down because Reno has high ground cover and they get the kill you see something oh so close to getting this capped I'm not sure where Genesis got shot from but he didn't see it Although they should have, USC Sumter is going to take this cap too. So both teams kind of making this look easy right now as far as capping points. Let's see if USC Sumter can cap B. This is going to be difficult as well, rotating as a team. USC Sumter first push onto the point does get the cap. Whereas Shenandoah kind of had the breakaway time. I would like to see Genesis go out there. I don't know if anybody even has a cover, but he likely doesn't know that. Would like to see the try for the wall bang there from Whoop, but I don't know if that's penetrable. But uh, USC Sumter has to start over here. Two of them sitting up on top of that building there, and just difficult for Reno to break that. Challenge it and gets a kill, but also gets killed by Relink as he tries to go for a spawn kill here. Um, UC Sumter hasn't even touched the point here. Does get one Genesis. But they just haven't been able to string anything together to get on point. Lives are about the same. You know, unfortunately can't finish off that kill. Genesis is trying to do what he can. UC Sumter gets three. You want to see stacking on time here, so... Get to the point and get get some time as they spawn up. Somebody should push up with an AR. We might have Whoop doing that. No, everybody just stack time. So Shenandoah not able to stop him. USC Sumter 
learning possibly from Shenandoah there that if you stack, especially after that big sweep, they were able to get back on point. So if USC Sumter can have a stronger defensive hold here and whoop right there getting that big kill that would have possibly wiped them off the point, um, USC Sumter does exactly what Shenandoah did to them. So well played for USC Sumter on attack. We just need to clean up this defense. Looks like Shenandoah is going for a, a strong A push here. Whoop's going to try to cover this high ground. But let's get inside and see our players. Reno's going to hold this high ground here on the tower, which is what we really need. I would have liked to see him stay up there on tower more and try to contest it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on Toxic here, trying to just stay with our players. Uh, Genesis does get killed on the point, and USC Sumter is losing A at the moment. Gotta try to take this tower back. USC Sumter either has to challenge the tower or challenge the hill. And Reno's gonna just sit on the point, contest it while the rest of the team comes in. Reno does get the refrag there. Gonna try to push this point off. Sure, comms are coming out about where people are located. Reno's gonna try to play this as strong as he can, or as long as he can, trying to keep them off. And Shenandoah is now on the point by themselves. If we're gonna challenge it here, we've got to get there quickly. Oops, gets one kill. Genesis there does not. Get another, and USC Sumter chocks. And Genesis does get a kill there, though. He runs right past the guy. Didn't see him, but Relink does see Genesis. Reno here. Good job. He just pull away. Doesn't realize that he's getting shot from the side. And USC Sumter may lose the point here just as quick as Shenandoah got to it. It does look like they may get a full cap. As USC Sumter can't even get out of the spawn. And Shenandoah is going to take this round as well. So not a lot of defense going on between these two teams. I'm not sure why USC Sumter is having such a problem locking it down. I do know that we're not doing a good enough job to get the high ground on the tower side. We've really got to lock that down. You lock that down, you can hold that point way better. And both teams are just running through A right, right now locking down that point very quickly in the round so let's see what USC Sumter does here on the attack looks like we're gonna go all out A again maybe uh, so let's see what we can see whoops gonna get first blooded there unfortunately did almost get a kill but just didn't finish it off Jumps does get a refrag there, um, but USC Sumter spawning up, waiting to get back in. Jumps pops his death silence, but doesn't get much out of it. USC Sumter's getting wiped around here pretty much, and gonna have to move out of spawn. Uh, making a B push, you're gonna see Shenandoah rotate a little bit. Uh, so, USC Sumter trying to get something happening here, and Whoop unfortunately dies to Steve there. And there's a lot going on on point, and a lot of USC Sumter deaths <clears throat> as Genesis gets killed from the backside. <coughs> USC Sumter not having a good round at the moment, and not capping anything. Sumter does clear off A, so they're going to try to cap it here. Shenandoah is going to be coming from all directions, I imagine, to try to block it. They may just give it up. They do have a significant life advantage, but and they do decide to give it up. Well, they, they charge in a little bit, give up a couple of their lives, so 
That could benefit USC Sumter. Let's just see how this take is on this side. USC Sumter, 13 lives left. 11 now, unfortunately. And trying to get to the next spot. Doesn't see him. We know, but he doesn't know. And Reno, unfortunately, dies. Jumps and whoop, trying to make their way over. They could stack up here. They just need to get that high ground off. Unfortunately, they can't. They are stacking this point. They can get this kill. They did clear it. They may be able to cap this. There is a kill streak that comes in. The trophy gets it off, and USC Sumter looks like they're going to take this, and they do. So back to back to back to back back and forth of winning rounds on attack but nobody's won a defensive round yet so uh coin flip it who's gonna be uh defense here i'm not sure how that goes down if it maybe goes down based on how many lives left overall or who started and they just rotate let's see what usc sumter gets at this point you almost wonder if you want to attack because nobody's been able to hold out so usc sumter takes attack so this could bode well for us as attack's been working so if usc sumter caps both of these points they're gonna win this round um and they've done it every round that they've been attacking same with shenandoah when they attack so let's see what happens here so off to a strong step here usc sumter Taking the advantage, killing a lot of players. We're gonna cap, stack this up and cap away. I don't know if Shenandoah's gonna have any way to contest this. They do not. So, UC Sumter taking some live advantage and headed over to try to control B. Unfortunate for Genesis there, not getting that kill. Definitely wanted to see him get that. Whoop does get a solid kill there. Maybe he could start getting some kills into the spawn, but ultimately the rest of the team can't push up just yet. So USC Sumter is going to have to break this hold and try to win this attacking round. And let's see what we can do. Genesis trying to get around, trying to get their angles. Do get one. Genesis gets toxic. One left. Sivo. You see Sumter in a really good spot here. If we could just get some kills in the back. We don't in the back run. But they are getting progress. We need someone to get this high kill. Genesis gets two. They get a third. You see Sumter holding this down. Getting another kill, USC Sumter's gonna take this, I believe. And they do secure the point. USC Sumter wins, takes the series 3-0. Whew, that was an intense control, I'll tell you what. But USC Sumter pulls it out, takes the series 3-0 over Shenandoah. And the guys came to play tonight, especially on attack and control. It finally seems like they listen to Coach Clark and I and are stacking points. And when you stack points and get a wipe like we saw multiple times there, there's nothing the team can do to get there fast enough to get on the point. So, USC Sumter winning that in absolute just crazy fashion there at the end. Able to get the W and... I think we're going to probably have an interview come down, but UC Sumter just taking that and getting the W. Uh, the search and destroy got a little shaky there for a moment, and the uh, control was back and forth, push, pull, push, pull kind of thing. Um, and, you know, USC Sumter was able to pull that out and get the win. So, you like to see them win the series that way, 3-0, um, really close, uh, and just one of those things that just uh, everything kind of fell into place there. We had some good plays there at the end on the points for control, um, able to kind of pull that off and get those wins. So, 
we'd like to see 3-0. Um, and it does look like we've got some interview ease maybe coming in. Um, so let's see what we can have for that. So give us two seconds to get some mics set up. Gonna go on hold for one one moment. All right, and we are back, and with us here, we have Reno and Genesis in the building. How's it going? Pretty good. Good, good. good. Um, so, great match. That control was crazy. There was no defense being played by either team. <laughs> um, but uh, it was one of those things where... Um, you guys finally stacked as a team and yeah. like the points cap like that when you oh, do yeah. that so it was really good to see that but uh you know what was going on during all those controls moments because um, it was back and forth pretty heavily i mean defense we we kind of knew both of us like both sides were doing terrible we kind of just focused up on our offenses um because we knew if you stack that it was gg like, we're gonna get it and then from our past games lately we just throw trophies on the hill and stack it and we've been getting it every single time and the kills just kind of come with it. Um, besides that, I mean, maybe we can work on our defense a little bit. It's just kind of pushing up where to go and where not to go. Uh, just timings. But I feel like our offense is pretty strong right now, which is different, very different. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, I, I've playing as an aggressive team, that's, that's totally fine on control, especially if you plan to get in and stack it. And, I mean, on this map of Silo, if you don't hold that high ground there on A and able to just kind of keep them off, you know, it's it's... It's a lot easier to get on B, stack it, mm -hmm. get some kills, and then it takes forever for them to get from their spawn to B, and that's what yeah. happened for you guys twice. Yeah. Um, once you got the team wipe, it was like, I'm sitting here yelling and screaming like, oh, they're, <laughs> they're just going to cap it. They're all stacking. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. I can't – I'm just so happy to see you guys stack all together. So yeah. that was great. But um, tell me about the search. So you went up 4-0. And then they broke, came roaring back with four themselves. But it just seemed like, to me, it seemed like you guys were taking, like, weird pathing and just kind of, you know, not yeah. checking before yeah. you took that pathing and just getting shot in the back or something like that. Yeah, so what was going on in there, though? It was just, like, adjustments mid-match that we were just making wrong decisions, wrong calls. And yeah. they started stringing the rounds against us. But uh, towards the end, we said, all right, we got to lock it in. Just go back to default. And uh, we uh, locked it in at the end. Yeah. Yeah, Took absolutely. A six yeah, definitely. So, I mean, I, I got a little nervous there, but then, like you said, you, yeah. you ended up winning 6 4, so we were able to knock that out and um, kind of go from there. So, I just think there was a few moments, like I said, it was just kind of not checking angles or something, or right. yeah. or just a almost like a, a fat finger on the controller or Sometimes something. Sometimes we play a little too fast, so, too. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah just for sure. For, for sure. Wait for us in the but, back. I mean, I think everybody's stats looked pretty well, and I mean, the hard point. Um, just to may as well talk about every map here, but uh, the hard point I mean, you guys kind of just took it and ran with it from yeah. there, uh, got a couple money hills. So, um, you know, how was that going? We just really focus heavy on rotations lately because we've been getting out rotated on by teams and the matches have been super close. So, we figured if we just rotate early, we'll be able to take it easy. Right, I absolutely noticed that, and you know, if you go back and watch the VOD, you'll probably hear me saying how we rotated really well as well. Yeah. Um, so I definitely liked that, saw that improvement, and I mean, this wasn't a shabby team either, so we did pretty well to come in and be able to 3-0 them. Um, so uh, we definitely like to see that. We take W's however we can get them <laughs> um, and uh, go from there. But uh, what, do, what do you guys think you're – your favorite moment of the match was? Mine was all of them. Was okay. Piecing. Probably Mike's right. uh, three piece in search. Okay, yeah. Mike's I was I was first, pretty first excited round. at that yeah, time too. Round. So that was that I think, was good. I think that gave us a lot of momentum for uh, for the match. That's why we went up 4-0 and then we kind of started slowing down a little bit. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, that was definitely a big point and 
I got pretty excited in that last round too when we closed it out that it was Mike and Whoop by themselves and Mike was on point and he got chowed but he killed one and then Whoop happened to come around the corner at the right time and saw the guy jumping down and just killed him and just closed it out so that was really good there. I was I was like Whoop's got to get there he's got to get there quick and he came around right at the right time and got him so that was a great play but um yeah well uh, I guess we can wrap up here. Thanks for the interview. You guys got anything to say before you head out? I mean, GGs. GGs. I mean, both yeah. people all played well. Uh, we just had the ice, you know, took it. Got it's it. Nice. Got it for sure. Yes, GGs, guys. Um, you're welcome to head on out of here, and I'm going to close off this stream. All right. So, muting as we go. And once again... As I close out this stream, um, to let everyone know, as we see these highlights, USC Sumter gets their third win in CCL in two weeks. So going three and two for the start of the season and winning 3-0 against Shenandoah tonight, which is a big win. Um, they are a solid team. So you see Sumter's looking good right now in group play. So we want to keep that advantage and going strong. You'll see USC Sumter on stream again on Monday uh, as we have quite a few matches to cover. Uh, Call of Duty has their long night of matches on Monday. You will see Call of Duty play at 6 p.m. in NJCAE, and you will see them play at 7.30 p.m. in CCL as well as 9 p.m and CCL so they've got quite a few matches then um, USC Sumter also just for you to keep in reference we'll have FIFA matches that night um, as well they won't be on stream but um, we'll have two matches going on for FIFA that night too as well as a Rocket League match which it's possible we could see Rocket League on stream at some point if it happens kind of in between one of our games um, but you but you are USC Sumter Call of Duty will have that advantage there as you see USC Sumter winning this last round here um, and taking the win uh, that just recaps and cements what's going on so uh, also for streams next week you will possibly see uh, on Tuesday nights Tuesday night um, Rainbow Six Siege playing and then again on Friday you'll see the Overwatch team so thanks for joining us we really appreciate the support and uh, make sure you follow us if you haven't already and signing off from the anthill, Coach Chris, have a good night.